Okay, welcome to module number four, um, where we'll look at Picasa slideshows in YouTube and how you can link um, an automated slideshows and YouTube videos into your Google site. Um, during this module, we're going to look at uh, what the options are for using Picasa slideshows on the Google sites. Uh, we're going to look at Picasa itself, which is um, Google's online storage system and sharing system for photographs. And then how you load your photos into Picasa once they've already been prepared to do so. How to then, once the photos are loaded onto Picasa, link those photos to your Google site as a slideshow. And finally, we'll have a look at how you can link your YouTube videos into your Google site. The first step is selecting the photos that you want to put into your slideshow. So I've already made a pre-selection here. I'm going to make a slideshow about um, EDEP Media. So I've selected all these different photos and I've put them into a program called iView Media Pro, which is just a, for a photo cataloging um, software. And I've put them in the order that I want to show them. And now I'm just going to rename uh, those photos. So I'm going to go to Action, Batch, Rename. And I'm going to call these Eda Media Slideshow. Oops. And uh, number them starting at zero one. So I'll rename those photos. And as you can see, the actual file name for the photos is renamed. And I'm going to transfer those fo photos into a special folder um, by duplicating them. So choose folder. And I'll put that on my desktop. New folder. Um, Eda Media Slideshow. Create. And then just choose that folder, and it'll automatically grab all those photos and move them into the folder that I just made. So after that, we can um, shut down the catalog. You can see that these photos are, you know, 4 megabytes, 2 megabytes. They're all kind of different sizes because they're random photos from different places. Now, before I started, I Check this. I downloaded a sample of the photo size that I want to use, and I'm going to open that with Photoshop to check the actual size that I want my photos to be. So if I go to um, image, image size, I can see that I want my photos to be 400 pixels by 267 pixels. That's my sample size, 400 by 267. So now I'm going to set my crop tool to those settings. So I've selected my crop tool and I'm typing in 400 by 267 pixels at 72 dpi. And now one by one I'm gonna, you know, I might do five at once, open some photos in Photoshop. So I just click OK when if a dialog box comes up. And then I'm going to crop my photos using my crop tool setting. So I might do that one like that. And I might do this one like this. This is a nice photo. Um, how you crop your photos is really up to the style that you think. You want to sort of look at what the focal point of your photo should be and really um, crop it in a way that it'll really show that focal point. So, you know, in this photo it's the kids watching the film, so you want to definitely have the film in the photo and focus in on the kids. Oops, sorry. And here it's the kids playing the game. So I might start over there. And um, 
then like we saw in the previous module if you want to have a look at what it actually looks like you click on the pen tool and then actual pixel and then decide whether or not your photo needs a little bit of adjustment so that's a little bit dark so I might go to image adjustment shadow highlight and just um, up the tone on that just a little bit so that looks pretty good and again the hand tool actual pixel image adjust shadow highlight so that you can see the image much better that way and then hand tool actual pixel image adjust shadow highlight so this one's actually a little bit too light so you don't want to use too much of the um, shadows function and then this one actual pixel shadow highlight again already light don't want to lighten that up too much pixel, shadow highlight, okay, and the last sample, actual pixel, shadow highlight. Okay, so now you've um, cropped and you've uh, adjusted the photos that you want to use in this slideshow. So then you do the save for web and devices, and um, I think we can just go ahead and work with the JPEG high setting for these photos, maybe even medium. And then we just save those in the same folder that we had before, which is this one here. And you can just go ahead and replace the ones that you had earlier. File, save for web. Save, replace, don't save. Working in a kind of systematic way with a lot of photos at once um, can really speed up your time on getting stuff together. So if you're well organized, and you know you have all of the photos that you want to work with together in one place for one slideshow um, that can save you a lot of time instead of going back and forth and back and forth as you're working on something um, but it you know it takes a bit of practice it's like it's kind of like you know riding a bicycle you just got to do it a few times and then it becomes second nature um, Okay, so now that our photos are ready, we're going to upload them onto Picasso, which is the Google online storage system for photographs. So again, go to Google, and this time go more and click on photos. And um, if your email is registered with that Picasso account, then what you'll see will look like this. Um, so up here is your albums. So these are the different albums that have series of photos in them. Down here is just random stuff that Picasso loads for you. Um, so it's pretty easy. You just click on upload and then you give a title to your photo gallery that you're going to be making. So this one is the photos that we prepared earlier which is the Eda Media in Action. I think we'll call it. And visibility, make it public on the web and then click continue and um, it'll take a minute for it to load the settings and then you choose photos to upload and here's the folder that I made earlier with all of the photos that uh, were prepared in Photoshop and resized with save for web and um, they're exactly the same size and they're ready for uploading so I just go ahead and select all of those photos and click open 
And then you just wait while Picasso goes ahead and um, uploads all of those photos. So now while my uh, photos are being uploaded into Picasso, I'm going to go back to the website. Here we are. And um, those are images about Edit Media, so I'm going to want to load them onto this page about the Edit Media unit. So, as always, you click on the Edit Page button to be able to start working on that page. And then I click into the space. This is the space where I want to insert my slideshow. So I've clicked on there, and now I go to Insert Picasso Web Slideshow, this one here. And a dialog box will come up, like this. And I'll go back over to Picasso to the, uh, gal the gallery web albums and click on the actual gallery that I want to insert into that page and once the gallery is open and you can see all the photos like this then you just copy the URL for that gallery, uh, that gallery and then paste the address down here and click select so um, I do want it to autoplay. That means it starts flipping the photos right away. I want the size of this to be the large size, the 400 pixel. And you know you can try the different sizes. And I don't want to use a title, and I don't want to use a border. So that's it. You just click Save. And your slideshow is automatically inserted into the space there, wherever it is you wanted to put it. Now similar to um, other thing, other gadgets that you insert, you can do left, right, center, assign, alignment, you can use wrap, and you always have access to the properties of the slideshow there. So let's have a look at how this looks when we save it. So there we are, we have a slideshow that um, is dynamic and looks great and um, has images that relate to the page that we're on. So that's how you do slideshows in Google Sites. So the last thing is um, about how to insert a YouTube video into your Google Site. So that's really easy. Um, so here I've got a page where I want to place a video clip in here. So I've already loaded my video onto YouTube. And uh, now I click on the edit page. And there's the space that I want to load the video into. So I just go to insert video YouTube. And then you need to go over to YouTube and find the URL of the video itself. So that needs to be not on your YouTube channel. So the channel would be um, that where it has all of your different videos, that's not going to work to do it. You have to actually click on the video itself and be in the page that the video is on. So here's the page with the actual video. Um, and we're going to copy the URL of this video. Copy and go back here and paste the URL of the video in there. And we don't want to use a border, we don't want to use a title, we just save. And sometimes this will happen where the video inserts not in the place where you thought it was going to. So all you need to do if that happens is grab it and drag it down to the proper place where it should be loaded. And after that's done, you click save. And that's it. Your video will be loaded into your Google site and it's ready for everyone to view online.